we're going to do a game, name association. So it's a simple one. I'm oh, going to give you um, a sentence, a description. You tell me the first name that comes to your mind. It could be ECW, WCW. It can be any way you've ever wrestled. And gotcha. this one is, and you can't say yourself, the funniest person in the locker room. Bobby Heenan. That was a slam dunk then, wasn't it? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's easy. Yeah. Last man standing at the bar, drinking wise. I, I have to clarify these days. Oh, uh, uh, probably say a man. That should have been a slam dunk as well, really. Um, okay. Yeah. Biggest bully. I don't ask that very often anymore. But would anyone qualify in, under that? Bully. Um, for me personally. Bully would have been uh, Rock and Rebel. I think he's dead now, but mm. he was he was he was not nice to me. Like he was just he treated me like shit. It just was just kind of a jerk. Not to you know. Later on, later on, after I was more established and he was trying to come back, or I'd see him on Indies, he was fucking nice as pie. But at the very beginning, man, he fucking he gave me a hard time. Him and Mike Graham. Mike Graham didn't like me either for some reason. Oh, was he uh, WCW? Yeah, so he was agenting still at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't know why. I like I never met him before that. He just was going like a dick. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Uh, has have we ever found anyone who Mike Graham liked? Yeah, who paid him? Mm. Yeah, I, I, think well, I guess whoever paid him, but I I don't know. He might have been a nice guy, but he was that nice to me. We we'll, uh... I'm not talking shit about the guy. He just he just didn't like me. <laughs> Smelliest wrestler. I've, I've got to figure uh, that I know what name's going to come here. Mm, smelliest wrestler. Uh, Cactus had his moments. Um, who else? Smelliest wrestler. Mm, who you? Who, who? Who? What name was popping in your head? Balls. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, oh well, yeah, that's true. I didn't. I didn't really. I knew balls well, but I never really did much with him to really, really notice. But yeah, yeah he was a dirty man. <laughs> Nicest person in wrestling. Maybe even too nice to be in the business. Mm. Nicest person in wrestling. Jim Hart is very nice. Um, Actus. Is very nice. Guys were very nice. I see Cactus. Cactus probably nicest guy in the business. Most in trouble with the office. So, of the major promotions you've worked, who would uh, frequently find themselves in trouble with the higher ups? Uh, Sabu. Hmm? Not in the trouble like, oh god, he fucked up. But as in like. Sabu would, would do what Sabu wanted to do, and if Sabu didn't want to do something, he wasn't doing it. So I, I just remember constantly hearing Sabu's name <clears throat> as far as trouble. But not, yeah. not, not trouble like bad trouble, but... M minor infractions. Uh, favorite travel buddies? Yeah. Uh, Cactus. Um, oh, you couldn't listen to your own music with Cactus. Well, that's true. That was only negative. Great stories, though. Great stories. Um, Spike Dudley. Was good to travel with. Um, for a while, I was traveling with. I drove. I drove with Taz, Dreamer, Paul E. For a while, that was just fucking knowledge central. That those fucking cards just, just asking questions like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. And then when we all lived in New York, it was uh, Taz, Bubba, uh, Perry. Saturn, John Kronos, the Eliminators, and me. That was a fucking car ride. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, this is uh, nothing possibly related to you at all, but what do you think the worst gimmick or storyline in wrestling history was? Well, ooh, you're, you're covering a lot of ground here. Yes, I am. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll um, slim it down a bit. The worst, The worst gimmick ever. Yeti was bad. The Yeti or the Yeti? Yeti, I guess. Or uh, Yeah, the Yeti was bad. Fucking uh, the Gobble Gooker was bad. 
Um, I just maybe standalone Gobby Gooker as a mascot wasn't bad, but the fucking build to the Gobby Gooker <laughs> made it really bad, especially when everybody expected Lex Luger. Um, Santa Claus was the shits. Um, seasonal. Man, there, there's been a, a very lot of seasonal shitty. character that it was probably good for about three weeks. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else is bad? There's a lot of bad stuff, man. A lot, a lot of bad. But as far as gimmicks go, though, I can, Mikey Whipwreck was the shits. <laughs> Uh, uh, you don't have to give the number if you don't want to, of course. Uh, best single payoff for an event. So, one event, what was your best payoff? Um, well, I could, I could say my WCW stuff because from 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 a technically from a per event standpoint, mm. I made a lot of money per match. But that was guaranteed though, as well. So. I'm presuming, anyway. Yeah. So all my WCW stuff was probably the most single day payoff, and again, guarantee contract thing. But I the uh, ECW One Night Stand pay per view, the first one, was probably uh, the biggest one. Hmm. Uh, let me have a look. The most talented wrestler you ever ever worked with. The most talented ever. Mm. Fuck. I mean, it doesn't even have to be your favorite. It can just be, yep, the most talented guy ever, kind of thing. Um. Hmm. Most talented. Well, see, now there's there's different ways to look at this. We can look at talented as far as creativity goes. Then you look at talented as far as physicality goes I, i'll tell you what I'll, I'll narrow it down and smoothest always in the right place always Lance storm yeah Lance storm jerry jerry lynn I mean, as far, if you want if you're talking smooth Lance storm hands down the most... second followed close a close second by chris candido as far as being smooth the most miserable wrestler in the locker room Always a eel the donkey frown. Nothing cheered him up. Uh, Taz had his moments for being a miserable, miserable person. Uh, just angry all the time. Um, fucking, I can't think of his name now. Drawing a fucking blank. What did he look like? I, I, I can't even <laughs> like it's Let's just say right now, Taz. And if I come back, if I think of it, I'll say, oh, that's the guy who was fucking cranky as fuck. That's fine. Then. Uh, worst abuser of spray tan or baby oil? Ah, uh, Taz. <laughs> Heavier smoker? Uh, not not weed, just regular cigarettes. Uh, John Cronus. Constantly smoking. Biggest ladies, man. Can't say yourself. Why well, be lying? Um, I guess ladies' man. Chris Chetty was uh, quite the ladies' man back in the day. Um, any of the guys really thought they were <laughs> the devil. Jim Mitchell thought he was a ladies' man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got say probably Chetty. He's got that Chetty, Danny voice. Doring. Those guys were. Yeah. Oh, he does have the crooning voice. Uh, I've got a few more on this. Loudest spot caller. Sam, man, <laughs> I'd hear, I'd hear him a mile away. Aye, and then yo, yeah, get the fucking ladder, okay? <laughs> Did you hear that over there? We're getting the ladder. Uh, a few more of these. Worst driver. Oh, there's Chetty. Chris Chetty, or well, yeah. As far as people would know, Chris Chetty, biggest river. Um, well, Kurt Henning, from my experience, just, just from what I've heard, uh, Kurt Henning, Bam Bam would rib on occasion, but from whatever I, Kurt Henning, from what I've heard, the biggest ribber, him and Owen, um, but me personally, just seeing things uh, that I probably can't talk about is Bam Bam. Oh, mm, uh, 
Can't talk about well that that just adds to the intrigue now. No, maybe one day we'll have to. Yeah. Uh, I'll disclose. Yeah, yeah. Would... It's just some sort of statute of limitation that needs to run out first of thir- of, of twenty five uh, plus years. Well, I was kind of involved without being involved, so that's I was like, I don't know, fucking stooge it off. So maybe one day I'll. uh... we'll save that for part two we'll put it that way we'll save it for part two Uh, part two uh, two more most legit tough badass Uh, Rich Steiner yeah or well people people I've I've dealt with not necessarily obviously Ming Haku is obviously the biggest fucking badass Um, but um, yeah Harry Saturn was a badass. Um, former Army Ranger, badass. I mean, he got shot. He got shot in the face and still fought people off. So, yeah. Mm. Um, Harry Saturn, I'd say, is a fucking pretty badass. Definitely. 